Alright, so today I'm going to show you the PTS's June 15th update. Um, one of the first things that we're going to cover, which um, it's technically partially in the game, and they could have done it already, but um, now they have. So the Commissioner and the NS44L, I believe, um, they have scopes. Well, now everything has scopes. All pistols now have scopes. Um, so you want to put something on your Emperor, put a, you know, 2x sight on there, right there. Now all pistols will have scopes. This is, um, definitely a much needed update. Like, it, it's not bad for the other pistols, but, uh, I would love a scope like this. So this is definitely a nice update we'll be getting. I don't know how long it's going to take, but, uh, it would definitely be worth it. Alright, so for the next update it's dealing with ESFs. So ESFs now have three types of fuel tanks. They have the regular fuel tank which is of course 70 percent recharge rate and then 80 percent capacity increase. Well now there's a high capacity which is 200 percent increased and there's a quick charge which is no capacity increase but it recharges really fast. So from the test I've been doing, um, large the large 200% capacity has 14 seconds um, of afterburners, but then it has a whopping 45 seconds recharge rate. Um, that is extremely long. Uh, you can also see there's air radar for all ESFs as well, but um, that's been in the PTS for a bit now. But 45 seconds is an extremely long time to wait for your afterburners. I feel that, yes, you do get a long time to use the afterburners, 14 seconds, but you have to wait 45 seconds once you use it all up. So, uh, I don't like the idea of the increased capacity afterburners. Uh, the quick to recharge, though, even though it does not last long, I do like it. Um, it has a, it takes four seconds to use it all up, so right there I've already used it up compared to the other one. But, it only has a seven second recharge, and we're already full. Um, it, it's, I really like it. It's definitely going to be nice for, um, hover fights, I feel. Uh, and then the normal afterburners have a 16 and a half second um, recharge rate and then a six and a half second uh, lasting for afterburners so the quick charge is only one and a half seconds uh, it, it only lasts one and a half seconds less if you just full out gun it um, but it has half the uh, recharge rate compared to the normal one all right, so now we're moving to the ant update, the ant and building update. So this is something that's in the PTS right now, but I'm not sure it works. There are now two ant mining lasers. Um, there's a mandible and a howling. So this one doesn't overheat the regular mandible one, and then the howling does overheat but it can quickly extract cordium. So we're going to try this out. So as you can see, you have a heat bar down below. We'll find some cordium real quick. All right, so now that we've got up to some good cordium real quick. So yeah, it definitely does have a heat mechanic. Um, it is a little bit faster. And if you've noticed as well, the contortium, the smaller, um, you can see my capacity is at 2,000 versus the 1,000. Um, I didn't realize it, but they increase the amount of contortium you get from the smaller ones. I don't know if this is on the live update, but it is on the PTS. Um, and you saw I overheated right there. Um, so I was not, I was just thinking regular ant mechanics and I just literally overheated it. Um, so you can't empty a full one. I don't know how faster it is, or if it is more efficient just to do the overheat mechanic. Alright, so back to here. 
you know, try some of the new base building stuff. Oh, wow. So, I didn't even know this. You overheat putting the resources into the silo. I don't really like that. Um, I really don't like that. That's uh, not something I like. Uh, one of the other things, I was hoping to get one while we were here, but I did not manage one, um, is ant ribbon. Ant ribbons. So, you know, for harvesting contortium, for depositing it, um, I can show you the directive. To get the luma fiber, the araxum, you only need to fill out four of these. Um, so there's harvest ribbons, there's silo resupplies, there's road kills with the ants, there's gun kills, and then there's, of course, the driver kills. Um, yeah, uh, have fun completing out this directive. You mine 15,000 contorium for one ribbon, and you deposit 20,000 contorium to get one silo ribbon. Alright, it's so one of the huge, a huge, huge change that's coming is the shield, the repair structure. So, right here I've got all the structures under repair. Um, so once this finishes, the big change with the repair modules is they now, um, so normally with the repair of the walls, you know, when they get hit, they're, you, they're a must for bases. Now they're more of a must. Um, now structures become invincible. So I know the Sunderer garage, the bunker, and the wall, the normal wall, um, they become invincible. So I'll try blowing them up and then I'll you know I'll show you afterwards that uh, they'll be able to take damage and everything. We just gotta wait for this to build real quick. Alright. So now that it's built, structures do not take damage at all. If they are in that sphere, they do not take damage. This is you can't have a base now without this. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. Um, oh, look at that. What did I just shoot? So this wall, the new wall, the blast wall, is not actually affected by it. I don't know if they're going to change it, but this is the new PTES wall that they have for the blast wall. Um, I don't know if it's going to be unlocked by default. It's probably not. Um, either I'm projecting either 5,000 to 1,000 certs. You get to place two of these. Um, I don't know if the shield works with them. I don't believe it does. We'll go ahead and prop one of those down and see if it does. Um, so you saw I just placed that. It showed the green spear for everything affected. Um, you can see these two were affected, but that wasn't. So I believe it's not going to have any effect on it. But uh, we're going to deconstruct the repair module real quick. And... Uh, Alright, so we're going to go to deconstruct this, and then you'll see the structures will now take damage. Alright, so Sunder Garage now takes damage. Um, if you actually did hit that, the repair module did repair, repair the blast wall. Bunker takes damage, and the wall is going to take damage as well. So now base fights are going to change so dramatically. Um, and we'll see if this works with that. Uh, you're not going to have a base without a repair module now. If you don't have one, compared to other bases, your base is not going to survive. So yeah, you got the shield up on the regular wall. The bunker is going to have a shield up. Yeah. And then of course the Sunder Garage. Um, you could theoretically, what I'm thinking is, if you could somehow find a spot where a silo is going to be super protected, um, you could make Sunderer garages invincible. All you do is put a, uh, a shield module in here and a repair module, and they will be invincible. You cannot destroy them um, unless the silo is destroyed or the silo runs out of resources. Um, so this is definitely going to change the base mechanics, and I'm excited to see it. Um, also, something else that's going to change base mechanics. Infiltrator has made a comeback. Um, so the decoy grenade was actually taken out of the game. 
but it's been added back on the PTS, and it now affects bases. It affects the uh, Xyphos turret here, and then, of course, the Spitfire. I don't know if it affects the other turrets. Um, the PTS notes said they only affected Xylos. Alright, so really quickly before these resources drain and everything. Oh, oh. Oh, that was really close. Alright, so you yeah, have, of course, the turrets attack you and everything. You do the decoy grenade. It actually distracts it and shoots it on the spot. Um, so it may only work if it has a line of sight of it. So try it again. Alright, so where it has line of sight, doesn't attack me, attacks a grenade. But as soon as that thing goes down, I'm dead. That thing will instant kill me like that. So definitely a new tactic for infiltrators to use now that the decoy grenade is back. 